Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands. Doom, 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 doom. Pisces, how y'all doing? This is your full moon and Aries reading. So if you decide to dig in what I'm doing, go ahead and follow me, boo. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive right on in. So your first song that you got is We Having Fun on the Side. Whole lot of love on the side. Know you want to hop on this. Let's go to the lake. Let's jump in the naked so we can escape and we can leave this place. That's my Earth Gang, uh, this side. And you also got, um, Unbreakable through the technical difficulties. Unbreakable, we just might be breaking now, but your soul will be back next week. Thinking, this love is unbreakable. Y'all have to forgive me. I'm feeling that. <laughs> he ain't no different from you. And she ain't no different from me. So we got to live by our dreams. Like the people on TV. You better stay tuned. They might not want to see you do nothing at all. But they ain't seen you do a damn thing yet, boom. For the rest of this month, you are going to be chasing your dreams. And the people around you who got something to say about it, they could do the same thing. But they too busy being trapped in the matrix. They pleasing everybody else and all their carnal desires and the shit that don't matter. And you didn't choose to do that. See, you're a regular old person just like anybody else. You go through your highs and lows. I mean, you have your stuff that you have to overcome. But I feel like uh, people around you maybe feel like you got it made. Or something other like that. But you don't have it made. You're just putting your energy in the places where it's going to count. See, the people in your outer environment done seen you go through some things while you've been manifesting this new beginning in your life. And they just wonder how in the heck do you stay so confident and keep a smile on your face? How do you keep that smile on your face? Because you know what God has promised you already. And you see it popping up in your experience every day. He's sending you the signs and the clues to let you know that what you're manifesting is on its way to you. You got some people talking about how much you done changed Pisces. But you didn't really just change. You just became the upgraded version of yourself. Some of them are even amazed at the change because I think they pretty much counted you out like you was a lost cause. But Pisces, these people ain't know nothing about you. They just know what they heard or what they thought. For the ones that was doubting you, if you, they weren't paying you no attention before, you better believe they is now. And you better tell them, they better stay tuned. Because you ain't even got started yet, Pisces. It's so crazy how people like to come back into your life whenever they see you doing a little something. But Pisces, you finna tell them to then they know, my brother. Get the fuck on before you get the fuck on. <laughs> and in my mouth, I got a little off track. But Pisces, for your words, you got gaslighting. Gaslighting is the sustained strategic use of misinformation to cause you doubt, to, to cause you to doubt memory, perceptions, or your own sanity by changing the facts, staging, and learned helplessness. You also got insanity. Insanity is repeating the same action several times without change and expecting a different result. We all got our own levels of insanity, Pisces. <laughs> you, have, you have society. Society is institutions, systems, and customs that govern life in a place. Now, Pisces, I feel like you have been doing the same thing, the same thing, and the same thing, and the same thing, and that shit just wasn't going to work. <laughs> always bounce back but i feel like you are just tired of dealing with other people's bullshit they know that you know that they full of shit whoever you were dealing with pisces they refuse to be a damn adult and just tell the truth um me as a grown woman i ain't got to lie about a damn thing i do and pisces i feel like you was dealing with an individual that's what they were lied on about through all the bullshit but you just kept giving this person the benefit of the doubt and I feel like they know that their dishonesty tainted their relationship. With this insanity card, Pisces, you didn't only deal with this off of this person in this current or, you know, your recent past relationship. You've dealt with this a lot uh, out of several different people. Now, another, you just kept pulling the same type of person, the same spirit, just dwelling in a different body. And you're sick of dealing with people like that. I feel like, Pisces, you are choosing to, you know, separate yourself. From these type of people so you can elevate yourself and get around someone or people like get around your soul tribe some people who really understand you and can relate with you and respect you like you are dealing with people who have some severe trust issues and those severe trust issues made them feel like everybody was gonna do the same shit they had this mentality like oh well everybody you know fool around everybody has somebody else 
uh, in the background or don't nobody ever tell the truth. And, you know, everybody don't live like this person do. And I feel like they were doing it to counteract, you know, just in case something did happen between you guys. They assumed everything. And I feel like they did. They was doing so much assuming to the point where they wasn't taking the time to really know or see or understand anything about you. I feel like this person passed judgment on you too quickly. I say that because... Sometimes, you know, people will judge you and say that you're supposed to have certain things uh, and be a, have accomplished certain stuff at a certain time in your life. But everybody's path is different. We all going to get there at different times. We all got different vantage points. This person critiqued you and judged you for that. And I feel like they dismissed you. While this person was busy critiquing you and probably running in behind somebody else, they fucked around and missed out on the bliss. You wasn't at a certain place in your life and established in a certain way. This person, you know, they pretty much counted you out. But Pisces, I feel like, you know, this person who counted you out, hell, how could they be so hard on you about, you know, your place in life when they ain't got a pot to piss in or wanted to throw it out of you? You're waiting around to see what you was going to do instead of going out there to get it for themselves. Because you didn't have it, they jumped off your bandwagon and got on somebody else's person real loud wanted to feel some kind of way about you because you didn't have a way to support they overgrown ass like they was always searching for the best of the best and when they left you behind you know they're going to quickly realize that was the biggest mistake they could have ever made simply because you're going to be living the life that they wanted to live and didn't do no work to have see whatever you got coming into you this month baby you deserve it but this person that you were dealing with, this could be a, fa well, it sounds more like a love relationship, but this could even be down in the family who counted you out and mistreated you. You know, they didn't have your back whenever you needed the most because they thought that you wasn't trying to do nothing with your life whenever you was just manifesting this place that you're at now a little differently from what they did. They were too stuck in the matrix trying to meet society's norms instead of doing things in a way that was going to really produce something that was going to make them happy, like you're doing. Whoever this is, if they're still around, if you're not repeating the cycle with them and you done dismissed them, I feel like they're going to be looking in on you like they always do. But now whenever they look on you, they're going to be ready to try to reconcile with you. It sounds very superficial and selfish. It's like they ain't committed to nobody but themselves. And I feel like they will say whatever they need to say, do whatever they got to do, and step on whoever's neck in order to get wherever they're going. Working in the background, watching you, trying to collect information on you. But it's like this though, Pisces. If they gone, if they couldn't be with you, while you was manifesting this, while you was building this life that you finna get ready to step into, what in the hell make you think they can be a part of it whenever you get ready to live in it? The ancestors been working to make sure that you receive this, but they also been making sure that this person ain't gonna have nothing to do with it either. Because in the end, they was gonna ultimately destroy it for you. This hindsight really is 2020, and now this person is being put in the position they're gonna have to eat all the shit that they was trying to throw at you. If you dealt with had you really questioning your own personal value. But I don't even I don't think that this person didn't um they seen who you was they knew you was a good person you were attractive to them all that good stuff but they just didn't see the quality of a person that you were for some reason i also feel like pisces this person didn't give you uh the attention and the commitment that you deserve because they felt like you was gonna always be there whether they had trust issues or not they still didn't give them the right to have you on the sidelines while they went out and did whatever the heck they wanted to do your ancestors refuse to let this person mess this up for you. And if they're around still, they are setting something up to get them all the way away from you. It ain't got nothing to do with them not wanting to see you happy. They just don't want you with this person because they know that they are going to destroy whatever you are about to manifest. And if they don't destroy what you manifest, they are going to destroy you, which means that the legacy won't go on. Pisces, when it comes to them, I feel like you kind of have like this nonchalant energy, like you... You enjoy them as the person. If they around, cool. But if they get to acting up and decide they want to go back where once they came and do the same bullshit they was doing in the past, you saying like, you know what? Oh, you gone? Well, I'm going to need you to stay where the fuck you going. <laughs> if you fool around and get them out your life this time, it ain't no coming back. And it's not because you don't love this person, Pisces. I feel like you really do have feelings for them. But sometimes certain things come along with certain people that just don't fit with us anymore. I hear a lot of people say it. This person can't go where you're going, but it's only because it's the We have everyone on this side. Whole lot of love on this side. No, you want to hop on this. 
Yes, this person wants to be on the bandwagon with you because they see the way that you are living. It is really allowing you to be happy and to live and just truly be yourself without having any concern about how anybody else feels about it. Sometimes people can see you go from two different polarities. You are way over here, hurt down, dick in the dirt, just a, just a mess, just a pile of just emptiness. But then you brought yourself back up, Pisces. You have really been working on yourself. And, you know, even though things may not be the best for you right now, you still living like things are the best for you. And some people just realize, can't figure that out. And it's only because you know what is ahead of you. Remain hopeful despite anything else that has went on in your life because you have been through hell and high water. You've been through the trenches and back. So it's not a whole lot that is really going to knock you off your rocker and have you upset to the point where you think that all hope is gone because you know that you have God in your life and no matter how low you go, it ain't nowhere to go from up with but up from there. And the way he got you going up is higher than what you've ever been in your life. People get lost in thinking all of this is based around, you know, material stuff. Yes, we are in the 3D. Money matters. We got to have it to live. But when it boils down to it, it's about an inner being. You know, you can have all the material shit you want in the world. But until you are happy within yourself and you find solitude there and you love yourself and you don't let your outer environment infect all this within, then you're not going to have the, uh, the experience that you think. Rich men are the saddest of men. You got all of this stuff around you, but you got a whole bunch of different empty relationships because they're based off of materialism and superficial shit. I'm sending no bad juju that way. You don't mean them no harm. You ain't even talking about karma, uh, worried about what kind of revenge you can get back on them. Nothing like that. You're just ready to let the situation go in order for you to be able to elevate. You elevating, you know, if you had the opportunity to, you probably would help this person if they wanted to help themselves. But if that's not something that they with, then there's nothing that you can do. Change starts with self first, and you can't change nobody, Pisces. It sounds kind of rough, but it really is another one of those truths that we have to face. If a person wants to change, then yes, Pisces, you can be there to assist them as long as they're showing you the efforts that there's something that they're really trying to do. But if they ain't showed you that, you need to move out of the way because they're going to drag you right down with them. This oracle, you got happiness. This is you doing exactly what you love to manifest happiness into your life. And whether it's here in the 3D right now or not, you're going to be happy either way, Pisces. Because there, you just have this newfound sense of self. And whatever you've been manifesting, that is where you have been putting your energy into. And you've been seeing the results. of You're learning to mind the business that pays you. And this business that you might be working on is going to be what pays you. And this person cannot be any of your concern anymore. I see it's from the tarot. You got the Queen of Swords, the Knight of the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. This is them, and this is what's in between, y'all. They see you manifesting these Ten of Cups into your life. Now, if you don't already have a new love in your life, it's coming. But you're not even worried about that because whatever you have been creating in the 3D, that is what is going to manifest into your life. You know. It, you make one step and God takes two. It's the intention behind what you have been working on. You could have just started, started something. And I feel like with you just starting it because of the amount of effort that you put into it, you being backed up, you being uh, supported in what you're doing. And this person sees that something big is going to become of what you are working on. You know, you start in one spot and you expand to a whole nother area of Pisces. And this person didn't think you was big business before, and they seeing that you got all the attributes to be big business and then some. This person really embodied that Knight of Wands energy because a lot of times they was leaving a whole lot faster than what they ever came into your life. And they was immature. They was, you know, they were not aware of what's really going on. But now they're about to be because you are in your Queen of Swords energy. Remain hopeful despite anything else that has went on in your life because you have been through hell and high water. You've been 
through the trenches and back. So it's not a whole lot that is really going to knock you off your rocker and have you upset to the point where you think that all hope is gone because you know that you have God in your life and no matter how low you go, it ain't nowhere to go from up with but up from there. And the way he got you going up is higher than what you've ever been in your life. You get lost in thinking all of this is based around, you know, material stuff. Yes, we are in the 3D. Money matters. We got to have it to live. But when it boils down to it, it's about an inner being. You know, you can have all the material shit you want in the world. But until you are happy within yourself and you find solitude there and you love yourself and you don't let your outer environment infect all of this within, then you're not going to have the, uh, the experience that you think. Usually rich men are the saddest of men. You got all of this stuff around you, but you got a whole bunch of different empty relationships because they're based off of materialism and superficial shit. Because Pisces, you pulled card number six, high heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. This is what I was just talking about. Uh, whenever you start getting, um, whenever you start exercising your high heart chakra, that is how you are able to love the very same people who crossed you. And no bad juju no, that way. You don't mean them no harm. Uh, you ain't even talking about karma. Uh, worried about what kind of revenge you can get back on them. Nothing like that. You're just ready to let the situation go in order for you to be able to elevate. You know, if you had the opportunity to, you probably would help this person if they wanted to help themselves. But if that's not something that they with, then there's nothing that you can do. Change starts with self first, and you can't change nobody, Pisces. It sound kind of rough, but it really is another one of those truths that we have to face. If a person wants to change, then yes, Pisces, you can be there to assist them as long as they're showing you the efforts that there's something that they're really trying to do. But if they ain't showed you that, you need to move out of the way because they're going to drag you right down with them. This oracle, you got happiness. This is you doing exactly what you love to manifest happiness into your life. And whether it's here in the 3D right now or not, you're going to be happy either way, Pisces, because there, you just have this newfound sense of self. And whatever you've been manifesting, that is where you have been putting your energy into. And you've been seeing the results of that. You're learning to mind the business that pays you. And this business that you might be working on is going to be what pays you. And this person cannot be any of your concern anymore. This is from the tarot. You got the Queen of Swords. The Knight of, the Knight of Wands. And the Ten of Cups. Pisces. This is you, this is them, and this is what's in between, y'all. They see you manifesting this Ten of Cups into your life. Now, if you don't already have a new love in your life, it's coming. But you're not even worried about that because whatever you have been creating in the 3D, that is what is going to manifest into your life. It, you make one step and God takes two, basically. I don't care. It's the intention behind what you have been working on. You could have just started started something. And I feel like what you just started because of the amount of effort that you put into it, you being backed up, you being uh, supported in what you're doing. And this person sees that something big is going to become of what you are working on. You know, you start in one spot and you expand to a whole nother area of Pisces. And this person didn't think you was big business before and they seeing that you got all the attributes to be big business and then some. This person really embodied that Knight of Wands energy because a lot of times they was leaving a whole lot faster than what they ever came into your life. And they was immature, they was, you know, they were not aware of what's really going on, but now they're about to be because you are in your Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords protects what she creates. That's the feminine feminine energy. Uh, whether you're a man or a woman, you've been in your masculine energy, getting the job done, putting in the work. Now it's you going into this Ten of Cups, you know, seeing this thing completely come into fruition. And after it comes into fruition, you're going to go into this Queen of Swords. You're going to analyze this person, the people around you, what it's going to take in order for you to build this thing up and make it be what you want it to be. But you've also learned how to keep the people out of your life that are going to destroy it. All right, now, Pisces, that's it. I hope that was helpful to you in some kind of way. Hit me up in the comments below. Until I see you next time, boo. Toodles.